We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Here it's the second of this four-game series between the Washington Nationals and the Colorado Rockies. Eddie Lantigua tries to keep pace in the National League batting race. First pitch is next. Settling in now, Esteban Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Esteban Reyes. Here we go, boys. Now the pitch. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. So, guys, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves 1-3. and three, Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. And he got him. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. At the plate, Orelvis Martinez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. The numbers, 282 to start play, 15 long balls, and 49 runs batted in. And field plays at one here. The windup and the 0-1. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches, not throw a single ball and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding, but you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. Standing in, Mike Amaya. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Yeah, he's blasted four home runs in his last 10 games, too. And he's got that power stroke working right now. This guy's an absolute nightmare to opposing pitcher. Power to all fields, and he'll take that ball away and drive it for opposite field power. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Hey, two outs, huh? Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Rolando Gonzalez. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First pitch coming, here it is. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Hey, come on now, here we go. Mm, got him out on his front foot, it's 0 oh and 2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. 
by the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Into the box now, Alfredo Alonso. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Hey, we got one here. Here comes the 0 1. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting fifth. To the plate now, the Milo fielder. Trevino. Milo. And hey. she'll take a changeup here for strike one. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. All right, come on now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope, ball one. That counts, one and one. A ball and two strikes now. Bottom hey, of the second here with no score. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Some of our nation's young. At the plate, the dude, Gerald, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Gerald. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. <laughs> Pitch on the way. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. And with one away, we check out where these guys sit in the current division standings, and it's not all that pretty as they face a sizable deficit at this point in the season. Striding in for the Rockies, Graham Fielder. And as you check out his righty lefty no left splits, fielder. no surprise that he hits better against southpaws fielder. than he does against right handers. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And a first pitch knuckle curve is a called strike. 0 and 1. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0-2. And they just can't touch him right now as this is swung on and missed. Seven punch outs now, and there's one away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. At the plate, Ricky Batter Coates. Hit. He'll get to the take his first hit. cuts here. Ricky. Go. Now here's the pitch. Yeah. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The 0-1 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Len Tigua is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Batting Russ up. Torres. The pitcher. 
Go Red. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. 0 1's the count. Two out, nobody on. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Scooped up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail it here, two to nothing. At the plate, Come the on, dude, man. Gerald. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The dude, Gerald. Here comes the first pitch. Belted high and deep yeah. into Red right on, center. A ball scoring. that's carrying. Scoring. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Esteban Reyes. And he's about as dangerous as they come. Without a doubt, he's one of the true icons in the sport today. Hey, we got no outs. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Aye. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Come on, fellas, let's go. A swinging That's strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. In now, Orelvis Martinez. Orelvis. 0 oh, and 1 the count. 0 oh, for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing and two. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about the two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. Now At the plate right now, field. Mike Amaya. Oh. As the first Amaya. pitch to him is swung oh, on and missed for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the hey, ball game. Two. Two down. Oh, and a good tight one, two, slider two. there, and he's in command, nothing in two. One of the keys to good pitching is attacking early in the count. That's two pitches, two swings, and an 0 2 count. Let's see if he goes right after him. And and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. In now for Colorado, Rolando Gonzalez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. A swinging strike, no and now it's 0-2. Right. Nope. That's, That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Nope. One and two. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Count even at two and two. Hey, nobody away. The pitch. And 
and he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Standing in, Alfredo Alonso. Now batting, first baseman, Alfredo. First pitch Alonso. on its way. Ah! The windup and the 0-1. No, that's down. Hey, plays at one now. One one pitch is a slider that's cut one on and two. missed for strike two. We got one out here. This is foul right side. Slow one, roller one, one. left side. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now at the plate, Milo Trevino. The center fielder, number 35, Milo. First offering on its way. Grounded weakly to the left. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail it here, three to nothing. Leading off the inning, Graham Fielder, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0 2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there and it just seems like we've seen so many off balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Now batting. So now to the plate, Ricky Coates. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here's the pitch. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Belted high and deep into right center. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Your Jesus Ruiz will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Ruiz. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. In his career, Ruiz carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Hey, clutch up for us. Get a strike down. The 0 1. Grounded to third, reined in, in time to first, and there are two away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Esteban Reyes, runner in scoring position with Sugan. In there, strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. Coates at second with two down. Hey now, we got two. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. One left for Colorado. Still down 3-0.
the pitcher, the dude, Gerald, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. From the stretch. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Fielder will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in once again, Orelvis Martinez. He'll be the man to lead things Not off here in the bottom of the seventh. Circle change there, called strike one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. to first one, one, one. he's right there and he'll step he's on out. first for the out three unassisted so he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh and with that in mind we check out the league leaders in shutouts and as you can see there he in fact leads the NL in that category so stepping in Mike Amaya now batting the right fielder. here's the first pitch Mike. to him Amaya one, one, Hits one. this one hard the other way. Fielded cleanly. Out. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Ready once again. Rolando Gonzalez. Number, base, number seven. First delivery Rolando. to him on the way. Gonzalez. Hey. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch no behind Owen two now and he's gonna add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning three up three down for Colorado they trail in this one three nothing now with the plate, Alfredo Alonso. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. In now, Milo Trevino. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Milo Trevino. And that's by him. It's 0-1. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, on, he's going to be go. just fine. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly okay, in the hole 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. The that will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game yeah. like it has here. Fielder. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit out towards second. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Hey, after starting a game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that single had to feel good right there. Nice piece of hit. Standing in now, Ricky Coates. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And it's one and two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ballgame as he keeps racking them up. 
Rockies strand one. They trail it here three to nothing. Into the box now, the Nationals now pitcher, the, the dude, pitcher. Gerald. The fourth dude. plate appearance for him Gerald. tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. First offering on its way. A bouncer up the middle, scooped up. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Ladies Ted Switzer will get Kansas up off the bench to lead off the home the half box. of the ninth and they've certainly Number got their 14. work cut out for them here yeah. so he'll just need to work on Switzer. getting aboard. Hey, nobody's on now. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The average coming in at 266. One home run and eight runs batted in. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here we go. Right now. Come on, guys. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. The ocean. Coming to the plate now, Esteban now Reyes. And here's an at bat you Esteban. don't want to miss. The pop is something to see, so we'll have to be dealt with carefully here. One out. You got one. Hey, let's go right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The wind up and the 0 1. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Up next for Colorado, not shortstop or LV, Martinez. Into the box, Orelvi's Martinez. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Good pitch as this is swung nope. on and okay. missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. I mean you look in the dugout right now you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to swing and a miss he struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow talk about total dominance nine innings only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. And tonight's ends is a 3 nothing shutout win. Washington led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. The dude, Gerald, wins for a league-high total 24th time and records a complete game two-hitter in doing so. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down.